Hello everyone, welcome back to Technology Moments. My name is Alan and today yet another experience that we'd like to share with you so you can make an informed decision about buying tech products. We previously used them for you so you know exactly what to expect. In this opportunity, one of the docking stations from Unitech, there is a USB Type-A connector model and a Type-C connector which will actually transform a USB Type-C connector or Type-A of your laptop or desktop computer to a dual port SATA docking station. There are many questions that arise from the use of these devices. They've been out in the market for many years and still keep evolving for countless reasons. Accessing all drives, migrating data, cloning drives, backupping drives or files, virtualizing machines and many, many other more specific situations that may require not just access to the drives, but doing so in an efficient and fast manner. Especially when hard drives not only still have its place in the market, but also continue to increase in size. What's included in the box is the docking station itself, the power adapter, the USB type cable and the instructions manual. The rating of the power adapter is 12 volt at 3 amps. As most docking stations, it provides you with a mechanism for using it for 3.5 and 2.5 inch discs, of course, always necessary. A quick cloning button in front is very, very handy. All indicators of present discs and cloning process on top. On the back, you'll find the power input, the Type-C port and the power switch. Using it is very simple. If you want to clone a disc, you'll just have to make sure that the disc has been initialized to the requirements of the operating system, that being MBR or GPT. No more, you're ready to clone the hard drive and the rest you can leave it to the unit. Leave the button pressed for 3 seconds and the cloning process will start without even having to be connected to a computer. The process will take as long as needed and depends on the source reading speeds and target writing speeds. It may take about from 20 minutes for a 100 GB hard drive to several hours if your cloning is to be done to a couple terabyte hard drive. It will work very well and it will depend on the speed of the USB port you can connect to. Accessing and writing from and to the dock disks also depends on the ports and type of disk you use. This docking station lets you virtualize machines easily and updating the type of drive used in your computer also is a process that benefits from having these devices. It's important to notice that you can also use a Type-A cable with your docking station in case that your computer does not have this port and you accidentally bought the wrong model, or if you just want to use it on different computers. I hope this information that we gave you right here might enlighten your decision-making process to buy one of these great docking stations. See you next time.